I am Claudia Romo Edelman. All my life, I've been dedicated to global issues in the most recognized humanitarian organizations in the world. Two years ago, the world agreed on the master plan for the future of the people and its planet called the Sustainable Development Goals. The world is making progress because if you would be a girl, a baby girl, flying in the sky, trying to see, trying to decide when are you going to be born from the caves to the Middle Ages to last year to today, there is no better time to be born than today. If you're a girl, there's no better chances for you to be able to vote, to go to school, to have access to health, to be able to actually have a family, decide your future and have an income that is equal to others. I fight for equity and inclusion. I fight for Hispanics. Hispanics have not realized their own power. We think weak, but we're strong. We think small, but we're big. And 77% of the people that we survey, which is closer to 3% of the population in America, 55 million people, have no idea that we created 86 86% of the new jobs in America since the Great Recession. They don't know that Latinas create small businesses six times faster than any other group in America. They don't know that we produce 12% of the GDP of this country. Our wallet is huge, our heart is expanding, we're young and we don't know it. That is my biggest insight. By 2020, we're gonna have 30 million voters and our population, one third of every Hispanic is under 18. That means we're the future of America. Are you surprised? Yeah. We are makers, not takers. We are the muscle of this country and we need to start having more recognition. We are not failures, we are successes. And together, we are not a minority. We are the majority. It is time for Hispanics to talk to Hispanics about the beauty of Hispanics. What if Hispanics are seen and respected and heard? What if we move from invisible to visible? Let's dream together because it's possible. Let's not be optimistic. Let's be possibilistic about the Hispanic potential in the future. It is only by busting bubbles that we will recognize what unites us instead of what divides us. Divisive language will not be louder than our voices. No, it's possible, which is to move from tolerance to acceptance. Because I don't want to live in a world that has so much artificial intelligence and this development and discoveries where we only tolerate each other. I want to live in a world where we can accept each other and make it inclusive for all of those. Because the world is already diverse. I want to use my voice to build bridges and to remind us that we are all human.